Alright, Chase Liaki here, Blue Futon. If you notice, I'm in a completely different part of where I usually see theaters because I decided, you know what, I was already halfway to where I could see Devara Part 1. I might as well just take the trip and go to the AMC that actually had it. So what's about pretty simple premise. You have a big island, if you want to put it that way, that's like in four villages. And they used to smuggle, but they realized what they were smuggling were weapons for like a warlord. And the weapons were actually killing their own people. So they said, nah, we ain't doing it no more. But one village kind of teams up with the other village. And they fight for this one guy. He's like, nah, we ain't doing this no more. And so it goes into a lot of fight sequences. A lot of back and forth from 12 years to now. And it's a decent story. But I do think that the overall package is like did this really need to be a two-parter because how it ends all I get well also in the very beginning all I could think of like this is like an Aquaman slash water world type of movie and it was just kind of like silly on some levels but some action set pieces are actually really good where they have to like battle for this ultimate weapon that they each get a year uh but when it comes to battle sequences, pretty good. The dance sequences, one really good one in the first half of the movie. The second half one with the love one did not work for me whatsoever. Uh, just the whole second half of the movie kind of didn't work and how it ended. Because how it started was about this like cop trying to get this warlord. Or, uh, you know, something happens, right? Because of a cricket match and they need to take a bad guy out. But the bad guy never shows up, because I'm guessing that's what part two is going to be. But I understand how part one, if you want to put it that way, before and after the intermission is about the father-son relationship. But um, it's like, I think they wanted to add too much for the present day stuff. It should have been a contained story. I'm intrigued what part two is going to be. I mean, was I entertained with part one? Absolutely. But when you look at the before and after intermission scene, the before intermission was way better in my opinion than the after because it turned into like a really, really weird shark, water world, Aquaman type of movie. Anyway, full review soon. Chase Hockey here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Well, no thanks, Blue Futon Topia. You Blue Tony, take a watch of a great day. I can watch this tape tomorrow, week from month, and a year from every single freaking one of you. Peace and love, peace and love. Deuces. Scoop a de boop.